あの新しいクラスが、まあ、あのもうじき登場して、まあ、日本のお客さんも期待してますけども、えーまあ、今回あの、まあ、S クラスでこう採用してたテクノロジーが積極的に、えー、一つ下の、まあ、E クラスの方にも入ってきてよりあのメルセデスの安全性が、まあ、多岐にわたって、えー、こう非常にあのまあ、リアルワールド実際のマーケット実際の事故におけるその効果事故予防という効果に大きな期待が寄せられてますけども、えー、まずこう一番こうキーテクノロジーになっているものはどういったものでしょうか First of all, it's true.、Um, we take all the technology which is there in the S class into the E class, but we go one step further. Mm -hmm. So, you'll get more in the E class than in the, so to say, current or old S class.、Mm -hmm. And、um, in two areas, we made major improvements. One is the area of radar based assistance systems, where we now have a technology that can apply full autonomous braking、um, for collision mitigation. So, that's, that's a step ahead, what we call pre safe brake stage two. And the other area, and that's a totally new area, is the area of drowsiness detection, and that's what we call attention assist. That will be standard、uh, in the E class, and that's, that's a step ahead、uh, too. So, we're not only transferring technology from the S class into the E class, but we're taking it one, one step ahead. And there's a third area, and these are the camera based functions.、Uh, and in the E class, you'll have for the first time our adaptive headlight assist, and that's a camera based、uh, function.、Um, That makes it world premier in the E class. あの、まあ、メルセデスは昔からあの事故調査をもとに、えーまあ、安全技術をさまざまな安全技術を開発してきたというふうに聞いてますけれども、まあ、特にあの90年代はインゴ・カリーナさんとはよくいろんなディスカッションをしてきたんですけれども、えー、この予防安全の世界におけるあの事故調査というのは具体的に今ど,どのように。Yeah, it's a very challenging area, but a very important one too.、Um, when I started, we、um, initiated accident causation research.、Um, so,、uh, our investigation team covers about 60 to 70 severe accidents involving Mercedes Benz vehicles per year. And wherever possible, we try to identify causes that led to this particular accident. Uh, that requires that we talk to the driver、um, if he's still alive and is willing to answer us the questions.、Mm -hmm. And we analyze the、uh, scene, we go to the scene、uh, and try to identify what were the main、um, causal factors in this accident. That gives us a first idea, but these are only 60 or 70、uh, cases per year. In addition to that, we use what we call GDAS, the German in depth. Um, accident data analysis study.、Um, this is done in two、um, regions of Germany and provides 1,000 accidents per year, where we also try to identify main causes for, for the accident. In addition, we use, of, of course, all available statistics elsewhere.、Um, so we try to get a, a wide range of, of methods、uh, to analyze accident causation. あの最近の車はあの自動車の車載コンピューター、まあ、車載コンピューターというかあのエンジンマネジメントのコンピューターに走行データが入っているのでぶつかった時にそのちょうど航空機の事故と同じようにですねあのぶつかる直前のこう車両データがあると思うんですけどもそれを使うことはできないんでしょうか Um, no, and、uh, Mercedes Benz does not have black boxes or event data recorders、uh, on our vehicles. We do, not have, we do not store data that could be used against the driver. That's our philosophy.、Uh, and unless, philosophy. Yes, and un unle unless required, we will continue to do so. So, event data recorders that other companies use are not suitable for analyzing accident causation because. They only give you a very, very small part of the big picture.、Mm -hmm. They don't have sensors, for example, for the environment.、Mm -hmm. So I don't have any information about the traffic situation.、Mm -hmm. uh, I only know what the driver did or did not do. And this is just not enough、um, to make a clear analysis in terms of accident causation. Short to the answer is that the impact of 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 the
に準じて考察できる考察しやすいと思うんですけども予防安全はそこに人間の人間というものが絡むので非常に考察が難しいと思いますけどもしかも国によって交通環境は違いますし上院の,あの、まあ、年齢、まあ、あるいはその生,生態ですか人間の体の特徴の違いですね、まあ、強い人弱い人お年寄り若い人もうそこにさまざまな人間というその複雑な要素が入りますので。特にその国の環境の違い交通環境の違いによる予防安全の考察の難しさその難しさに対してメルセデスはどういうふうにこうチャレンジしてるんでしょうかアクティブセーフティーは特にチャレンジングなのでそれは人間の行為であるそれは大きな差別の違いがあるので人間の行為。Um, we, we deal with different environments, and that's one of the reasons we have a tech center in Japan, for example. We have a tech center in the US. So we study、um, driver behavior under these market specific environments too. And once we come up with, a,、uh, with an idea for new assistance systems, we test this idea first in the driving simulator and then in the real vehicle with a huge variety of persons. And typically, we have samples of 100 up to 500 people. So, we vary age, gender, driving experience,、um, and then, of course,、uh, the region where the drivers come from.、Mm -hmm. So, when, once we launch a system, we have made sure that it suits all the needs of all the drivers worldwide. Driver's experience and skill are different. Particularly, in the United States, the driver is 200 km per hour, and the driver is 200 km per hour. 東京都内で時速20キロぐらいで走っているドライバーの経験スキルはかなり大きいと思うんですけれども、まあ、例えばブレーキのペダルの重さとかブレーキアシストの介入がドイツの人に満足できるものと日本の人が満足できるものがこう相反した場合ですねやっぱハードウェアの技術としては一つでこう提供すると思いますけどもそ,そこはどういうふうに We can because critical situations are very, very similar in Japan, in Europe, in the US. For different reasons, human beings end up in the same critical situations because they have similar deficiencies. For example, humans everywhere have a problem to identify the deceleration of a lead vehicle, whether it's a Normal braking, a strong braking, emergency braking. That's very, very hard for the human eye to identify quickly.、Uh, radar sensors can do that very, very reliably and, and quickly. And they can help you, whether in Japan or in Europe, in a critical situation. They can provide information much faster than the human eye can.、Um, we make sure that the systems help all drivers who actually are in a critical situation. Um, so, the assistance is effective worldwide. Now, there may be a difference when it comes to warning systems、um, because we don't want to annoy the drivers by giving warnings too early. So, we have to make sure that the point by which the, the system triggers a warning、uh, is in the acceptable range worldwide. And that's why we do tests in the US, in Europe, and in Japan to identify that point in time where a warning is acceptable to all these、um, drivers. 歩行者が絡むような事故を未然に防ぐ、まあ、予防するような技術を考えるときに、えー、人間をこうディテクトするようなあの技術に入っていくと思うんですけども、まあ、それはいわゆるこう ITS みたいなこう IT 技術によって例えば、まあ、にあのこれは日本の場合ですけども。あのまあ、日産自動車が実証実験しているのは子どもたちにランドセルにチップをつけて、まあ、そのミリハレダ微弱電波で車の方が子どもを、まあ、見えない子どもの位置を存在を確認して事故を未然に防ぐようなことが、まあ、今日もデモンストレーションしていると思うんですけどもその日本では比較的歩行者の自転車とか歩行者の事故が。増えてるんですねですからそこに対する関心というのは非常に高いんですけどもこういったあの問題に関してこれからあの世界の人口が増える中でおそらく 50% ぐらいの人がメガシティに住むだろうと言われてますからこの歩行者事故
が次のこうイシューになるのかなと思うんですけどもそこに対して何かあのこうビ,ジョンビジョンというか技術のこうロードマップみたいなものをお持ちでしたらお聞かせください。We take this area very seriously.、Uh, we know that way too many people and children die、um, because they are hit by vehicles.、Um, we have already technology that helps.、Uh, one is a standard feature that's the brake assist system. So, in an emergency braking maneuver, that system will help、uh, to apply maximum deceleration. And we have accident data that shows that the proportion of serious、um, accidents involving pedestrians has been reduced by 13%. After we've introduced brake assist system into our cars. The next step that we already have is our night view assist system, which is now enhanced by pedestrian detection. Night view? Yes. So if the night view system identifies a pedestrian and then it highlights this pedestrian in the picture, that will be available in the new、uh, E class as well.、Mm -hmm. These are just two examples.、Um, we, we are working on that problem too, and we hope to come up with sensor technology that can identify the pedestrians. That are in the way of the vehicle or are getting into the way of the vehicle. It's a very challenging area, and you mentioned、uh, the research done by Nissan where you have tags in the backpacks、um, identifying objects as pedestrians.、Uh, that may work well on a test track, but when you drive through Tokyo or a, a crowded area, you have many, many pedestrians. What's, what's, what's the value of that information? You only need the information when there's a kid about to run in front of your vehicle.、Um, and you have no, no, there's no value in, in getting information that there's 15 people there, 20 people there, and 30 people behind you. That's irrelevant. So we have to find technologies that can identify critical situations. And we feel in the future that with a stereo vision,、um, we have some solutions to identify、uh, pedestrians. And also pedestrians coming into、um, uh, the way of the vehicle. まあ90年代は世界的なあの衝突安全のまあ上位保護性能ですね。え特にあのまあ日米欧の法律がまあ制定され、えそれぞれの国のまあ N キャップと呼ばれている情報公開がそれぞれ制定され、え衝突安全技術は非常に各国ともあの。まあ、スタンダード化したわけですけどもこの予防安全をあの情報安全公開いわゆる N キャップの中に、えー、予防安全の効果をどういうふうに、えー、ユーザーはエバリエイトすればいいかですね例えば、まあ、ESP がついてればいい,い,いのかどうかということだけでなくて、まあ、その総合的な取り組みを予防安全に対する取り組みをしている車をどういうふうに N キャップ安全情報公開ではその評価していくのか、まあ、それはあの自動車メーカーのみならず N キャップをやっている各国の政府の方の問題かもしれませんけども多分いろんな議論はしていると思います、まあ、特にヨーロッパの場合は、まあ、イ,ギリスのユーロ N キャップイギリスがやっているユーロ N キャップというところが、まあ、リーダー役なんですけども、えー、衝突安全から予防安全へそのユーザーの関心をシフトするには。安全情報公開の中の評価も加えていかなければいけないと思いますけども。Yes,、um, you raised a very important point. Consumer awareness has to be、uh, raised in terms of accident prevention systems. And there are first steps taken already.、Uh, in the US NCAP, there is information about the availability of ESP. So the, the consumer gets information that the system is there, it's valu valuable, and he should take it.、Uh, in Euro NCAP, we have the first inclusion of, of、um, accident prevention systems as well in the rating scheme itself.、Uh, and there are、um, initiatives to enhance、um, these systems, and we welcome these activities as long as they help to actually raise consumer awareness.、Um, It would be too early、um, to rate different assistance systems, so inclusion in the rating scheme is maybe not as helpful as just、um, telling the consumer that the technology is out there, explaining what it does, and um, um, encouraging them、um, to buy it. And in this context, it's very, very helpful to have incentives given by insurance companies. Or、uh, by the governments、um, for、uh, certain options. And、uh, we've done it, and other companies have done it as well. So, our insurance companies will give incentives if you buy certain safety options.、Um, so, that's a very important path, and we're willing to go that along with other partners.
、まあ、今の質問に関連してアメリカは ESP がもう義務化法律でスタンダーあのつけなければいけないと決まってるんですねそれと例えばあのタイヤプレッシャーモニターも義務化されてるんですねでヨーロッパはまあ自主的というかあの、まあ、民に任せるみたいなただ非常に安全に対する意識が高いですから順放棄みたいな形になっていく日本はあの今回の自動車危機を迎えて悲しいですけども逆に ESPVDC をもうつけないでコストを下げていこうというやってはいけない方向に今社会が流れていこうとしてるんですねこれを私たちは食い止めなければいけないので、えーまあ、例えばヨーロッパであのそういったものが。まあ、安全装置がですね予防安全のキーになるような重要な技術が ESP とかタイヤプレッシャーモニターみたいなものがその義務化する方向にあるのかちょっとヨーロッパ義務化すると日本のお役人はヨーロッパのお意外に安全装備では見てますからあの日本も一段と欧米が義務化したものを日本が義務化してないとですね日本の政治家は騒ぎますから。あのヨーロッパの動きは極めて重要だと思ってるんですけどそのムーブメントはどうなんでしょうか Well, sometimes,、uh, usually we do not like、uh, too much regulation, but sometimes regulation does make sense.、Uh, if you look at the tire pressure monitoring system, now that addresses a problem which is only existing in the US. Because in the US, drivers simply do not check their tire pressure. They buy the vehicle and they drive it until the, dry, the, the tire falls apart.、Um, so that's, and, and there's no way to check the, the tire pressure at the gas station. Because the only way you can fill the tire, but there's no way to, to actually measure the tire pressure. So this law、uh, addressed a very specific situation in the US. Elsewhere,、um, I don't think tire pressure monitoring systems are as beneficial in terms of traffic safety as in the US. If you talk about ESC,、um, we have a very, very high penetration rate in Europe already.、Uh, we welcome, however,、um, the regulation in the US because in the US you have many SUVs,、uh, and for,、uh, to address the rollover problem, you need ESC in these vehicles badly. So,、uh, again, the regulation in the US makes sense,、uh, and it's effective, I think, in 2012.、Uh, I assume Europe will follow. However, rem- bear in mind that we have a high penetration rate,、um, but it's a problem, especially for the smaller cars,、um, to afford the extra cost of an ESC system. And smaller cars need ESC too because. Most younger drivers use these cars. And、uh, to get、uh, ESC into these small segments, we need a regulation. And we would welcome a regulation in Europe for ESC as well. And I think it's likely to happen. When, I don't know.、Mm-hmm. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you.、Okay.